everyone welcome to my channel my name's Kim and today I'm going to kick off my video by showing you what I'm wearing so this is the McCall's 7360 um, I have made this three times and I have got the fit near perfect there's just a few little changes that I would make to it next time but as it stands it's a really nice blouse it is um what I, I generally would call it a granddad shirt so in the uk we um have shirts where if it hasn't got a collar stand or a collar it just has this i think it's also known as a mandarin collar a straightforward collar around straight into the placket and i, I know it as a granddad shirt so it's got a nice placket, opens up, flaps around. It has the front has um, bust darts, long sleeves with a button so the sleeve can be rolled up. And I made this in the summer and it um, was rolled up all the time. And because this is made from um, batik, it has the same look on the inside as it has on the outside so it's quite it's quite a nice fabric to use for these sort of roll up sleeves and also you have your tab and you can button it down so um, this is my third make as I said and on my project sheet I have made a little note on the back that next time I would probably shorten sleeves by three quarters of an inch and use a either a finer or just one thickness of interfacing on the placket because just find it a tiny tiny little bit stiff so that's what i'm wearing so this week i have not finished anything i've been so busy at work I haven't managed to start and finish something the one thing I have started is I have started my husband's Christmas shirt so I have managed to cut it out and I'm about three quarters of the way through so um, sadly you'll have to wait till my next video to see that so it's, it's nearly finished and I'm really pleased with it it's going really well and um, I had to <laughs> to tell my husband to stop coming into my sewing room because he was just making it near um, impossible for me to start it so I've told him to not come in because I'm doing something um I'm making things for people and I didn't want him to see he's probably guessed I'm making something for him so we'll see I, I will let you know um so that's something to look forward to now um moving on swiftly i have actually received my parcel of sweatshirt fabric from myfabrics.co.uk and um, i haven't opened it so i'm going to open it with you here um and it's quite oh it's quite a big parcel so um, I'm quite excited to open it. So I called out also my um, my confirmation email. Um, so I know what's in my parcel. And as I mentioned last time in my previous video, when I printed this off, I put um, extra information on here about um, the weight of the sweatshirt fabric and also the composition. So I can see that most of this most of this is yeah, even 65 90 or 95 percent cotton so um it'll be nice to sort of get it out of the bag and really have a look at it and see what the stretch is like on each of these fabrics so bear with me to find my paper scissors right here we go Right, 
so the first the first fabric is this orange fabric that um, I really was was drawn to on the site originally uh, and it's so it's so vivid it's a beautiful color um, yeah I'm really pleased with that so this fabric is obviously sweatshirt fabric it's um brush back and its composition is 65% cotton and 35% polyester so it's got a, a wee bit of stretch on the vertical yes it's got a, a wee bit of stretch on the vertical and it's got more of its stretch on the horizontal but it's obviously, it's a nice firmness and I can see that making up a really nice sweatshirt. Whilst I've been waiting for this sweatshirt fabric to arrive, I've been trying to decide which sweatshirt pattern to use. And I'm very tempted to make another Style Arc Kennedy hoodie with it. I I have been wearing the star, the star patterned one that I made originally and... Um, I would really like to have another go at it and I just think this this fabric would um, work quite well and I would also incorporate some of those changes that I discussed originally so that that's an option for for this one um, so that's the orange one I also bought some um, cuff ribbon so that works, that works quite well with um, that orange. And I also bought this, um, keeping the orange theme going. I thought um, when I was on the site, I really, really liked um, this sweatshirt fabric as well. And the composition of this um, fabric is 95% cotton and 5% polyester so it's definitely a lot um, uh, the cotton content is obviously a lot higher but because the weight is smaller so the weight of this is 240 it's also um, brush back as well um, because the weight isn't as heavy it has um, a lot more softness to it um, you unravel it a bit. It um, has quite a, a nice bit of stretch on um, the vertical and and also on the horizontal. So it is quite stretchy, and I can see that making up not such a a thicker sweatshirt. Um, definitely a more fluid sweatshirt so that would also work quite well with um, the Style Art Kennedy as well and maybe these cuffs cuffs work well with it because they're all of these colours are also in sweatshirt fabric so I think that's that's really nice so um, I'm going to be having a bit of a sweatshirt frenzy aren't I with all these fabrics that I bought so I was I'm quite keen to play with sweatshirt fabric because it's not something I have made up other than the, the um, Kennedy hoodie. And the last sweatshirt fabric is 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 this one. So it's uh, a soft sort of blush pink with flecks in it. I don't know if you can see the flecks there. So the flecks also have, um, have orange, navy blue, and a little bit of yellow and this and these cuffs would also work quite well with this sweatshirt fabric as well and the composition of this sweatshirt fabric is so its weight is 240 so it's the same as the, the floral one but its cotton content is 90% um, cotton and 5% yeah 90% cotton 5% polyester and 5% spandex and because of that spandex it is really really quite 
stretchy yeah it's really you can really feel that when you're stretching this it is pulling back so it's got a real nice firm stretch to it and it's brushed back as well so it's nice and soft on the back um yeah so i bought um quite a bit of sweatshirt fabric so you can all see what i'm going to be doing over christmas <laughs> so hopefully you will see one of them in between christmas and new year now when i discussed the um hoodies last time i i mentioned the the eyelets i was playing around with with eyelets and um originally i bought some eyelets that were sort of this size and i just wasn't too sure whether they were too big or not and it's very difficult to tell when you're looking at these things online how big they are because they don't actually put them up against anything to give you a comparison and I ummed and ahed about it for a while and I just didn't feel happy uh, with the size of the eyelids I just thought they were way too big and then I was in my um, knitting bag and I came across I came across this knitting gauge um, and it's where you put your knitting needles in to just find out what size they are and on one side it has US sizes and on the other side it has um, European sizes. So European sizes would be the size that I would look at and generally what these eyelets are gauged by. So this original one that I bought was 12 millimetres. So you can see here this this. 12 millimeter hole is absolutely huge it's quite it's quite big so that's that one and in the end i decided to return the eyelets and the hole punch and the eyelet press studs back to the trimming shop and i reordered a new set so i decided to go for a smaller set of um 10 millimeter so i went for literally the next size down and for me I just felt that looked quite good and then when I got my cord that I had bought I put this through so I could see what it looked like and, and that that works quite well it's not sort of wobbling around in a big sort of eyelet hole and the little eyelets I bought so I bought some copper toned ones which I thought would go nice with all of the orange and the pink and you can see that actually um, goes in and out of that eyelet no problem at all so I'm really pleased that I'm I made um, the decision to send back the bigger eyelets and repurchase the smaller size and you think two millimeters isn't that much but it it really does make quite a difference so now I have literally everything I need to make up my new sweatshirts and I did actually do a little tester there, can you see? Just a tiny, tiny little test and you can see that that looks quite, quite nice. So, yeah. Right, so that's my sweatshirt fabric calm and I'm really quite excited about making something with that. Um, and... The only thing I did finish this week, or oh, before I move on to my finished projects, I will go through the process of cutting a little swatch off of a corner of each of those fabrics and making up my, you know, remember my fabric index card, making up my fabric index card with all of those um, so that if I don't get around to using that fabric straight away I have all of the information that I need on my fabric index card and I have that for future reference and that will now I will take that downstairs and wash all of that sweatshirt fabric ready to be used and I just have to decide which pattern to use and I like I said I, I like the idea of making another style art Kennedy but there are a few other patterns I have in my stash and I'll put images of those up so you can also see those. And I don't know whether to maybe have a go at making some of the others because there are some that don't physically have the hoodie. They just have a funnel neck sweatshirt 
look and I and I quite like the funnel neck look um, I'm not keen well I I struggle a bit with a hoodie bit because um, I wear a crossover bag and sometimes a hoodie gets sort of caught up and the bag sort of, ha I have enough trouble getting the hoodie out um, from underneath my, my bag strap so um, so I will make a decision. So I'll put the images up and show you. Let me know what you think. Um, I haven't made the other two patterns before but as you know I have made the the style art Kennedy and I would be quite keen to make another one of those because I quite like all the design effects and I I think I can improve a little bit on them so now I've got my sweatshirt fabric I'm so excited that I opened that in front of you I'm really pleased to get that started and it has met all my expectations and I love it um, the other thing um, I have finished this week is I have actually finished another pair of socks so um they are here god and I've never, every time i show you this i just think god they make my feet look huge but um no they're there's a really nice pair of socks at this time of year i i wear my homemade socks all the time in my boots and i did a little design effect this time by making tiny little um holes through sort of the leg part of it and the top obviously kept this part plain because obviously um your feet your bottoms of your feet are quite sensitive so i kept that part um nice and smooth so i have another pair of homemade socks so so i have finished that so when i was pulling everything together before um, doing this video I also came across this little little guy now I subscribed to magazines on and off for all the years and I when I came across this I thought oh he's he's quite sweet he is actually a Christmas decoration so um, he's got all of his his bits in here um, so I thought what I might do is I might sit down one evening and um, just um, just make that and see how that all comes together. I wouldn't think it would take very long, but that, that's quite sweet. So I will do that. And um, I think for this week, that is it. Short and sweet. And next week I will have my husband's shirt finished. And it will be finished before Christmas so I want to video that as soon as possible because I want to get that wrapped up and under the tree and it's done so I will see you all next week hopefully my next video will come out I think actually it will come out between Christmas and New Year but we'll see how we get on so I hope um, if I don't see you before Christmas have an absolutely lovely time with your families enjoy the festivities and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye.